दिस इज गौरव एंड आई एम फ्रॉम भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड माई बी टेक इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन टू जीरो टू फोर वॉट बैर योर चाइल्ड हुड ड्रीम्स एंड एस्पिरेशन वेन आई वॉज इन माई स्कूल यू शू लाइक थिंक how the the embed systems how these uh, smart technologies working how the robots are working what is behind them uh, how our computers are working then i uh, after completing my 12th i i got to know about ec uh, branch uh, there i i can learn about electronics about the semiconductor industries like after completing my btech i joined mrc why did you choose embedded systems and why did you join mrc when i was in my college uh, i took uh, electronics and communication engineering at that time i got to know about the microcontrollers how the uh, controllers can control the embedded systems what are sensors actuators and then in my third year i uh, got to know about mrc so i uh, did an online internship in M- mrc there i learned about uh, how the, how we can program uh, the microcontrollers using c language or c++ language uh, after completing my btech i joined mrc uh, for further upskilling of my uh, skills What was the hardest part you faced when you started learning this program? Most difficult part was uh, we can see the embed system how it is working, but what is the behind the scenes? How it is working? What language we have to learn? Like normally, if we are saying uh, we have to apply, uh, like we have to use a controller. Now, which controller uh, we have to use for that controller? What protocols we need? What rules we have to follow? This was like like tough and uh, tough part for me. to uh, like make it then i joined mrc here i learned about the programming and uh, like how we can program this and how we can communicate with the controller so that it can uh, control the complete system was there a time you felt like giving up what kept you motivated in this journey when i was learning programming at that time uh, normally when we are learning a concept if we are learning that that's not enough that is completely useless now we have to know where he, we have to use that concept in our uh, real life Uh, what is the real application of that concept at the starting i was not able to figure out like where i can use this concept this was like a tough part for me but uh, at mrc uh, i did some projects and assignments due to that assignments and projects i got to know uh, where we can use the concepts how did mrc's course structure help you understand complex topics and projects when we are doing any project and any assignment before that we have to learn about that we have we should know about what we are doing and for Uh, like what we are doing how we can do this and uh, like if we are doing something why we are doing this the mrc course structure is uh, structured in that way first we will learn about the basics if we if i talk about the c programming so in c uh, starting how the code look like why we are learning c what's the real application then we can move further for the data types which we can use in c and uh, like the steps for uh, compiling for running the code in c if we are coding something so how we can code in efficient way for coding in efficient way we can learn the uh, data structure and now we have learned the uh, like how we can program how we can structureize our code how we can make it more efficient Up, then we have to apply this in our embedded systems so for embedded systems we have to apply this code in our some controllers some micro uh, controllers so the, then we learned about microcontrollers then if we code the microcontrollers using the linux so it's uh, like, like as we all know it is a open source platform and it is a huge community at what point did you start to feel confident that you have become industry ready when i was learning about the microcontrollers so then i got to know this way we can program the microcontroller but why we are doing this and uh, like if we are interfacing some uh, like device with our microcontroller if we want to communicate with our controller we have to learn about the protocols so in real time we have to follow the protocols like if i tell an an example about the protocol so we have a can protocol which is controller area network that is hugely used in automotive industry i made a project based on can protocol there i got to know like uh, this way we can communicate with the different different sensor different different sensor nodes we have some ecus which is nothing but ele- electronic control unit in our car systems so there i got to know like now i am industry ready now i can visualize how things are working how did projects at mrc build your capability in becoming industry ready i have completed 12 projects Four I completed in advanced C programming. I start with the very basic project address book. Then next project uh, which I completed was LSB stenography. So in this project, why we are doing stenography? What is stenography? Uh, like what are the types of stenography? And in this project, I did image stenography in LSB position. I did a project in MP3 tag reader uh, in which we can uh, read the text of a MP3 audio file. Uh, then next project was lexical analyzer. So in this project, uh, we have to make a mini compiler version. After completing these four projects, 
I started uh, microcontroller. So in microcontroller, I completed three projects. Uh, two was based on CAN protocol, which is highly used in automation uh, for automotive uh, like industry. Then one more, uh, one more project was car black box. So in if any mishappening is hap uh, like happening with our like our car is crashing somewhere. So at that time, what like the what was the scenario? What what was the speed of the car? What was the gear? What was the temperature of the engine? Uh, before this mishandling happened so then i did some products in dsa data structure and algorithm there uh, i completed inverted search then uh, arbitrary precision calculator and uh, one more project was uh, red black tree i completed two products in linux internals which uh, which is a, a mini shell and tftp so tftp is nothing but a tri trivial file transfer protocol did assignments and projects influence your interview performance by doing projects and assignments, we get to know about how things are working in our real life. If we are going in an interview, if I am telling him uh, like my interviewer that uh, like this way we can do these things, interviewer can ask us that, uh, okay, so why we are doing this? And can we do some other thing? Can, uh, can we have some other solution for to solve the problem? So uh, like this, if we are solving any uh, like project, there are many ways to solve the project. But we have to think, uh, think all the ways, then we can uh, choose the efficient way to do that project. What was your reaction when you first heard about getting the Siemens opportunity? When I completed my course, then I was in doubt like am I ready or not. Uh, but after completing my course, I uh, like revised all the topics, I revised all the projects. Then when I heard about the uh, company, uh, like the, uh, like Siemens is coming, I like go through the complete job description, what skills are required and am I ready for that skills. So as I said that after completing my course, like I was revising all the topics. I was revising basically all the topics, but when I got to know about the uh, like Siemens is coming, so I revised topics which are required for the company profile. Any lessons during your course that helped you during your interviews? Uh, here I want to mention uh, one thing, uh, which is uh, mock interviews. Like uh, if we are learning concept, now we know how we can apply this. But what if we are not able to present? Like uh, if we are uh, giving an interview, but we know like what is the concept where we can use this but if we are not if we are not able to uh, present in front of someone so again it, it's like kind of useless thing so i i gave some mock, mock interviews so then uh, my mentors told me that uh, you can improve this this part so uh, for each and every model i gave a mock interview which helped me to uh, shape uh, me uh, like good for uh, interview what advice would you give to beginners aspiring in embedded systems who feel uncertain learn the basics then uh, you can start with some practicing questions so practice of questions you can uh, practice the assignments the pra the assignments which mrc is providing is covering all variety complete variety of uh, uh, you are learning anything like if you are learning c programming so you have some basic problems like fibonacci series normally uh, you do positive fibonacci but here you can also do negative fibonacci then you can perform the same uh, like uh, program in using the loops and as well as you can perform in recur uh, like recursive way uh, that same problem after doing the assignments one more thing uh, which is very 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 much important is projects so projects uh, uh, like taught us how we can uh, perform the same thing in our practical life and what challenges we are going to face when you are doing any project you will face some challenges uh, by facing the challenges and by clearing the challenges you will get to know more uh, clear picture about the things you are learning how was your interview experience, including any challenges or setbacks? Uh, before giving uh, interview at Siemens, I gave some mock interviews at MRC. My first in, at my first interview, I was not able to like structure uh, like frame my answers as I like I was not able to represent it properly. So after my uh, first mock interview, uh, my mentor told me like you can uh, tell this thing by giving an example of this way and don't just tell the concept apart from concept uh, try to give an example a real life example what does securing a job at siemens mean to you looking back on your journey basically it is uh, like a dream for me when i look back uh, like i was not skilled much siemens is my dream company and uh, i got an embedded uh, software role this is a uh, again my uh, dream job role and uh, at uh, like MRC helped me so much to shape me to get perfect for this role and finally I uh, like got selected for uh, Siemens. What's the one do and one don't you advise anyone succeed in their career? Two key me messages that I want to share to my uh, juniors and my friends. When you are working on someone, uh, many times like things will not go according to you, you, you want. Like uh, each day is not same for us. Like uh, we have five fingers, all are not same. If you are 
लाइक स्टार्टिंग डे एट आवर्स अ डे नेक्स्ट डे यू आर नॉट एबल टू वर्क फॉर एट आवर्स यू आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग फॉर फोर आवर्स इट्स ओके डिमोटिवेशन ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर सक्सेस एंड फेलियर्स आर ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर सक्सेस लाइक वी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम अवर फेलियर्स वी कैन फेस अवर अवर चैलेंजेस एंड बाय वर्किंग ऑन दैम वी कैन गेट सक्सीड